Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell. He's a master club figure at Second Swing. And today, we're gonna to be testing some new Callaway equipment, specifically uh, the new Callaway Super Hybrid compared to the Epic Flash Hybrid and the Epic Flash Fairway Wood. Thomas is gonna test all three different heads on the exact same shaft at the exact same loft. Thomas, I know you're familiar with some of the Callaway equipment and specifically the new Super Hybrid. Uh, what do you think we're gonna to find today? I really don't know. This is going to be an interesting test. I'm really intrigued to test all three of these with the same length, I'm testing that fairy wood with the hybrid shaft just to see what, a, what actually happens. I'm expecting, you know, maybe the super hybrid to go a little bit further than the hybrid. I'm interested to see if it goes as far as the fairy wood, though. That's mm -hmm. really going to be an interesting factor to take a look at. Yeah, no, Callaway has kind of um, the message behind the super hybrid is that you can get the fairy wood distance with the playability of a hybrid. I'm um, really, really going to put that to the test here today, so I'm excited to see what happens. Let's go. Let's get to it. All right, let's do it. All right, Thomas, what are we starting with today? And uh, give me the all the specs, shaft, loft, all that stuff. Yep. So what we're going to do here is all three clubs are going to play them at 20 degrees aloft. Now the super hybrid is a 20 degree club, so we don't have to change the loft on that one up around. Epic Flash 21. I'm going to turn this. I've already turned this down to 20 degrees. And then what we'll do with that five wood is it's 18. We'll turn it up to 20 as well. Perfect. We're going to test with the exact same golf shaft, so I just measured the length, it's going to be right at 41 inches. Um, the Tenzai CK Orange Pro shaft, the stock shaft that comes with the new Super Hybrid, but we'll test them all with the same shaft. So we, so there's really no bias at all in, mm -hmm. in this test, so it's be really interesting to see what happens. Yeah, for sure. Now that's, that 41 inches is kind of right in between, you know, kind of a, a three hybrid and then kind of a five wood. Type it is, of length, yeah, it's right? definitely a little shorter, so when I do hit that five wood, it's going to feel a little shorter to me. Um, but yeah, it's kind of towards that two, three hybrid length. And, and, uh, yeah. yeah, so. Absolutely, all right. Let's see what you got, huh? All right, sound good. All right. Oh. It was a good mess. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a little low further to the right. A little bit high and right. A little spinny. Yep. Looking down at the dress, how does it look and feel compared to maybe other hybrids you've played? Yeah, so I think it looks... You know, I've definitely seen larger hybrids in the past. It looks kind of between that, you know, that the Apex hybrid that, that Callaway came out with this this year and then kind of in between that and more of a traditional kind of looking hybrid. Okay. So maybe a little bit smaller, a um, little more compact looking hybrid. I kind of like the look of it actually. It looks, so it's pretty nice. Yeah, this is my first time hitting it too. So this will be first time hitting pretty much both different hybrids. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. That felt really solid. Yeah, that was pretty quiet yeah. off the face too. Yeah, that was that was destroyed. One of my best swings that I'm probably gonna <laughs> do in a long time. So that was really good. That felt good too. Yeah, and that ball speed's right. plus you know 150 or more with the hybrid. Yeah, those last two swings were. Yeah. Pretty much all I've got. That was <laughs> that was really really good. So, I've really kind of set the bar here right off the bat to see how these other clubs compare. You have. All right. So let's switch these around. We'll kind of maybe come back and hit a couple more of these at the end. So there's no bias here at all. All right. Let's switch over to re hitting super hybrid now. Yes. Yeah. Let's try the super hybrid. Let's see how this this goes. I was just looking at it. Looked like it's maybe a slightly larger club head looking. Looking at it compared to the others, um, but this is standard Callaway setting. Has, that's how Callaway has, you know, the messaging around the hybrid is that it's uh, supposed to be kind of a combination of a fairy wood and a hybrid. You know, it's got the the club heads a little bit bigger. Yep. Uh, kind of presents some of the advantages of a fairy wood, but also uh, have the playability maybe of a hybrid at the same time. So they're built very similarly. All three of the clubs that we're going to test today have that jailbreak technology, which has been a huge hit for Callaway. It uh, has. Right behind the club face, so. Helps increase that ball speed. You know, give us a little more distance. Yep. All right, so super hybrid, 20 degrees. See how this works. Definitely a larger profile looking down. It looks kind of like a, 
No, more of a crossover between a fairy wood and a hybrid. Yeah. Kind of right in between. Yeah. So. Well, it's good that you say that, because I think that's what Callie was going for. The super yep. hybrid, so. <laughs> Felt good. Left the face open a little bit. It was struck pretty solid though. I mean, 1.5 smash, over 150 yeah. ball speed. Yep. Oofda. That was pretty good. 154 ball speed with the hybrid. 54 ball speed. 1.53 smash. Well, that's, <laughs> that's pretty good. I'll take that. Not saying that this club's illegal, but that's <laughs> it's a little high. <laughs> that was a little thin, so that'll be interesting to see what happens here. Yeah. Did uh, not for what it's worth, we do have the, you know, we're showing the carry distance right now on TrackMan. Yeah. And so, I mean, clearly with a ball that's launched a little bit lower like that, on if you got a semi-dry fairway uh, or up the, to the green, that's going to roll out a long ways. Yeah. Look at your total distance here on that one is over 260. I would have got away with that if it was, you know, if I was like kind of laying up on a, a par five or yeah. something. But if I was hitting into the green on that one, that height only 48 feet in the air, that's... It's gonna be trouble. It's gonna be you, yeah, hard to stop that thing. You, you bring a lot more things into play yeah. that way yeah. when you run it up. But uh, yeah, it did go 264, but that's why it's important to pay attention to that carry distance versus right. that total distance. That felt good too. Nice. All right. Pretty good numbers there. Yeah. Interesting. Kind of really not too much. Maybe switch that to total distance just really quick to see if there's any kind of difference there. Yeah, it was going a little bit further than the... A mm -hmm. little bit, yeah, you can tell. Epic Flash. Yeah. Epi, I mean, I think there's an outlier here. Off the, Definitely an off outlier. First, yep. Epic Flash Hybrid kind of had a spinny one. Um, but uh, I think I had a couple of outliers with both of them there. Okay, so this will be an interesting one. Five wood set at 20 degrees. with a uh, hybrid shaft. So it's definitely gonna feel a little bit shorter to me. But. Yep, it's hybrid shaft into the Epic Flash 5 wood at set at 20 degrees. So 20 loft degrees, is all the yep. same, shaft is all the same, which yep. now, I mean, it's a hybrid shaft, so not necessarily built for a fairy wood club. Yep. Uh, but what do you expect to see before you hit a few shots? Honestly, I actually don't know. I'm interested to see what happens with the distance. So. Yeah, I am too, yeah. I'm very curious. Okay. Definitely looks like it's got a lot of loft on it. That's the first thing I'm noticing. Huh. Interesting, yeah. I feel like I hit that pretty solid. I did. I mean, you the smash factor is <laughs> 151. Oh yeah. Felt like I was hooking a little bit. Yeah, I, I definitely notice a lot of loft looking down at this. When I see a lot of loft on a fairy wood or a hybrid, instantly it feels like I'm maybe going to hit a little, little left. And maybe sure. that's why those two just kind of went a little bit left here. Well, I, I know you're probably not uh, used to looking at a fairy wood with that much loft on it. Like a club had that big, but also yep. that much loft on it. Correct, yeah, it's, it's not my typical look. Now that's a beautiful shot. Yeah, I'm hitting it pretty solid though. It's pretty much going about the same distance every single time there. All right, let's switch back to the uh, other two hybrids and hit a couple more with each one. So after a few shots with each, 
um, without really looking at the averages or anything, what do you, anything uh, of takeaway or anything to note so far? Um, again, before we really look at the averages, is there anything that you maybe noticed um, that separated itself? Um, without looking at numbers, I would say visually looking down at it, I would say, you know, the super hybrid and the fairy wood probably would present more confidence being a little larger club head. Someone that's maybe trying to get the ball up in the air to go maybe a little bit further. Mm -hmm. um, the Epic Flash Hybrid is noticeably smaller than the other two clubs. You know, sure. it just doesn't look like there's much loft on it, even though it's the same loft. It's just yeah. a little bit, just looks a little bit smaller profile. You know, something that I would maybe prefer to look down at. Um, but the other two, you know, what I noticed was kind of the forgiveness on the on the other two there too. So they were going yeah. pretty much consistently, pretty a little bit further overall sure. so, to start with. So. And the ability to turn over that fairy wood versus the other two. It's really interesting. Yeah, a lot more uh, right to left action on your shot so far with the fairy wood and the uh, super hybrid. Yep. That felt pretty good. It struck well. Struck Had a little well. bit of extra yeah. spin on it. A little bit more spin. Okay. That was maybe a little high right. Yep. Left the face definitely open on that one there. It's interesting though that the spin was actually down on that one. Um, compared to some of the other yeah. ones that you've had. That was interesting because usually... Still carried pretty far. Yeah, interesting on that one. Um, Alright, let's switch back over. I'll switch back to the super, super hybrid. hybrid. And then we'll clean up those... Uh, clean up some of those... So it's a couple of outliers. Let's not leave that face open like the last one. That's pretty good. I'll take that one. That's some ball speed for a Three hybrid. 156. 156 for a 20 degree hybrid. That was a little miss hit. Maybe a little bit high on the face with that one. Yeah, I miss it. That wasn't very good. What's interesting is the smash factor, but still, I know I left that face open. Didn't go quite as far. And that was a little thin again. There's that low bullet again. There it is. <laughs> There's the wind ball. Yeah. Forgiving. That was really forgiving. That did not feel like I hit that thing 271 yards. I think that's got to be your farthest shot. No, I think you maybe had one at the ferry wood that got that far. But uh, yeah. Interesting to note, though. I mean, you clearly right away when you, you turned away and, and in disgust when you hit that one. <laughs> and it was one of your farthest ones in terms of total distance. Yeah. I can be a little bit of a perfectionist at times, a lot of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone that knows me, that I definitely am fit that perfectionist profile. All right. Back up two degrees, 20 degree fairway wood with the hybrid shaft. All right, a few more with the fairway wood, and then we'll uh, really look at the numbers here and, uh, and kind of see if we can find any major differences. We'll see if I can keep that dispersion pattern pretty tight here with this fairway wood. It's a pretty high bar. Yep. Felt like it was going the same direction. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. You about dropped it right in that circle. It's incredible, actually. Noticeably going just a little left versus everything else. 
That was a lot of ground. Yeah, that was a miss hit. Ball speed dropped dramatically on that one. Mm -hmm. I mean, but still, it's, look at that. I mean, the distance didn't yeah. drop off that far for you know maybe getting some ground on that one. Yep. Ah, that's so far left. All right. All right, Thomas. I think you've gone in here and cleaned up a little bit of uh, maybe a couple of the outliers from uh, each club. But uh, what are the big takeaways here to look at from the data? Yeah. So I, you know, I took out, you know, I kind of kept up, kind of the five or six shots with each club here. Um, if we were gonna kind of break this down here and little, look a little bit at the club speed, you would notice epic flash hybrid, about 100 miles an hour. Um, super hybrid, basically 102, epic flash fairy wood, 102. So we noticed that the super hybrid is giving us kind of that club, same club speed we're getting there with the, with the fairy wood. Mm -hmm. Even with them all being the same length golf shaft, so it's kind of really interesting to see that Epic Flash maybe is going just a little bit, a little bit less club speed. Um, however, you'll notice the smash factor with all of them, 151 every single time. So <laughs> it's pretty, pretty solid across the That's board efficient. there. That's efficient. That's efficient, yeah. So even though Epic Flash hybrid made a little less club speed, ball speed was still pretty solid. Efficiency was still kind of the same. You would expect something that has more club speed, giving more potential distance, to have maybe a little more, more ball speed there. So you know, super hybrid, and the fairy wood pretty much around the same one, 154 miles an hour. Um, if we kind of look at launch angle, um, launch angle 11.5 degrees with the fairy wood, 12 degrees with the epic flash hybrid, interesting 10 degrees with that super hybrid. Now, I do, we do have that one out, outlier in there that did launch very, very low. Remember that one I hit that was yeah. 48 feet in the air going to 265? So just if I was just to include that one in there, you'll notice the launch, you know, still about about the same. So they're all kind of launching around yeah. about the same between then there. Your, I average, just, your average height will also go up to 100 feet, which is about what you want. It does, you yeah. Take that one out. So. Yeah. So when I t you know take that one out, they're all pretty similar in the height, around about 100 feet in the air, which is going to give me plenty of stopping power. Just because we were keeping five in there, I'm going to put that one back in there for now. That just explains why the launch angle was just a little bit lower, and that height was just a little bit lower there too. But they're all pretty, pretty comparable there. Um, spin rate, spin rate with all of them are basically separated by about 200 RPM. So really, yeah. pretty comparable across the board there. And even if you wanted to get nitpick again, you know, we, we, that shot we just took out a little bit lower launching one. You take super hybrid at 31, that probably moves yep. up about to 33, uh, compared yep. very similarly to the the fairway and the and the epic flash hybrid yep. as well. Exactly. Yeah. So what's interesting to note is with the fairway wood is had the highest carry distance, 249 going compared to all the others, whether 243 with the super hybrid, 240 with the epic flash. So epic, the super hybrid's going a little bit further than the epic flash. Um, that carry distance is also going to be, be a little bit affected because of this mm -hmm. one here. Um, so pretty much going about the same, but what's interesting is epic flash fairway wood and super hybrid were going pretty much the exact same distance. So, you know, Callaway, you know, came out with this super hybrid as a way to try and replace a fairy wood in someone's bag that someone maybe just doesn't like fairy woods as much. Mm -hmm. Well, pretty much does the exact same thing. It's going the same distance. So, yeah. Callaway's, you know, they, they figured something out there. Yeah. Or on um, the other hand, if someone uh, maybe wants a bigger hybrid shape, like you mentioned, like you kind of prefer more a smaller compact hybrid shape. Yep. Maybe someone wants something that looks a little bit more like a fairy wood, but still can kind of play like a hybrid. With the super hybrid, you're going to get distance like a fairy wood, uh, but then you know, it's still going to play like a hybrid. So that's clearly Callaway has delivered uh, in that aspect as well. Yeah, I would agree with you there. Um, Epic Flash Hybrid was just going about seven yards less than the other two. So super hybrid designed to go a little further, be maybe a little bit stronger. You know, it is going a little further, even though we did test them all at 20 degrees aloft. So mm -hmm. you know, it was performing a little bit for better going just a little bit further and keeping up with a fairy wood. So that's always important there to note. Um, if we look at this left side screen, you'll notice the dispersion. You know, I talked about with the epic flash fairy wood, you know, how I felt like I was hitting it left every time. Well, everything was just kind of just left of center every mm -hmm. single time. So I mentioned when I looked down at it, seeing a lot of loft on the uh, fairy wood, just felt like it was the toe was kind of up in the air, it's going to go left. Mm -hmm. It did. So it was pretty consistent. 
but also talking about consistency, notice how you know, it was going about the same distance every single time. So if we look here from north to south, this purple circle is maybe a little bit thinner. Mm -hmm. So there was Definitely good consistency thin. there with that, with that fairway wood. Um, super hybrid with having this one outlier in there was definitely the largest, you know, out of, out yeah. of the monolithic dispersion there. And if we look at the Epic Flash Hybrid, the one that's got a little smaller profile, we'll notice how it was favoring the right side. So essentially looking down at something that's going to be a smaller club head, for me, I had a hard time turning it over. The Epic Super Hybrid was kind of right in the middle, and the Epic Flash Fairway that just looked like it had too much loft on it for me. Mm -hmm. It just does, it's 20 degrees. I've never had a fairy wood that's got 20 degrees on right. it in my life. Um, <laughs> consistently going over the left. So, you know, there's one way to maybe help someone to get that ball going right to left is by increasing loft on their fairy wood as an option as well. I think this is all really, really interesting information here. I, I'm surprised the fairy wood and the hybrid, super hybrid going about the same distance with putting that, that fairy wood, you know, on the mm -hmm. same, same golf shaft, same length kind of testing there and pretty much do the same thing. So super hybrid is a great option there to maybe have that ball go a little, you know, a little bit further with a, with a more hot hybrid looking profile. Mm -hmm. Okay, Thomas, we tested all three clubs, same exact shaft and the same loft. Um, we found some interesting information out of there. What were the big takeaways for you? Yeah, so, you know, one thing I definitely noticed with the fairy wood is how I consistently hit it over to the left hand side. Looking down at it, seeing maybe a little bit more loft that toll maybe feel like it was just kind of a little bit more up in the air, consistently hit it to the left. So if someone's maybe having a hard time to draw the bull, you know, a little more loft on that furry wood is going to help release that toll over a little bit, get that bull going a little bit left. What we also found interesting was how the super hybrid and then the epic flash furry wood at 20 degrees, they pretty much went the exact same distance. So, uh, you know, Callaway's done a great job with a super hybrid to maybe has an, as an option to give us that fairway like distance in a hybrid. So that's, mm -hmm. it was really interesting. It was going about seven or eight yards further than the Epic Flash hybrid was going, and they were going about the same distance as the fairway would. Right, and I know, you know, there's not a lot of clubs out there that fall into that category maybe of a crossover between a fairway wood and a hybrid. You know, you've seen a lot of crossovers between an iron and a hybrid, but this is kind of a new category that Callaway has maybe created here. Uh, and it looks like they've done a great job with it. Yeah, I, th I think they have. I think it's uh, it can be a great addition to their line in 2020.